All right, hey, what's up, you guys? You're looking at the back of my car. It's a nice 43-degree day. Well, as nice as it's going to get for now. But uh, as you can see, I have the back panel off once again. I didn't bother taking the whole seatbelt thing off. It was just a waste of time when I could just move it to the side. But um, as you can see, there's my kicker here. I just put an edging of duct tape around it. It's The duct tape's not holding it in. There's screws behind it. But I feel like if there's any air leakage, because it wasn't the best fit, uh, that'll block it, and you can't see the black duct tape when the grill is over. You only see the sub. But um, here's my amp. Still running just fine. Pretty cold because it was a cold night last night. But uh, anyways, this video is on for this video is on uh, taking your antenna cable right here. But don't don't jump in just yet. But I'm gonna take the antenna. I was gonna take the antenna cable right here and extend it to the front. So I can finally have radio because as some of you guys know with the JBL head unit you can't just plug the direct harness into one of those Walmart adapters because it doesn't fit which I found out last year and it was a pain in the ass to get around. So this video is going to be on how to wire in your radio antenna and power antenna wire to your head unit. First off I should say um, don't get me wrong but you might not even need to do it from here. I got told by I think this guy Jimster502 on YouTube most helpful guy right now trust me um, to check in the right side passenger kick panel for an antenna connection and now I looked that up and on forums all over Explorer forum I found um, people saying oh no it won't work because Ford has its own antenna harness or whatever that stuff is but you guys see this black cord right here going into the factory tuner if I unplug it there you go the pins inside there I don't really know how well that would have gone with the antenna adapter but I would have found out so I'm just gonna plug that back in like that and now as you can see the black cord still right here goes all the way down um down the right side of the car and by the way I should say the other wire we're looking for is for the uh, uh, power antenna wire which is orange and light blue I think orange with a light blue stripe but anyways if you look down in here really carefully you'll see you'll follow the black wire obviously this one right here so I followed it up to right here and I kind of pulled on it a little bit and his statement was true I don't know if you guys can really hang on I'm trying to get a better angle of it I don't want to pull it because there's other wires onto it, but I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And it's where the antenna goes into a different cable. So if I unplug that, will it look the same? Hang on a sec. It's the first time I started making a video before I even tried something out. Now why is this thing taped to here? That's the worst idea yet. Alright, so for any of you guys wanting to know, huh, I'm going to break that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so as you can see, I just unplugged the cable. It looks like this with no pin. Honestly, hang on a sec. I got my, uh, Got my adapter cable from um, what you call it? I got got my adapter cable from Advanced Auto Parts, but it looks like I might almost need an adapter because if you look closely, the inside of this one doesn't have a pin in there. It accepts a pin to be put in there, and this one has a pin sticking out for the uh, back of the radio connection. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Hang on a sec. First of all, if you can, see, if I don't know if you can see this, but this inside piece here that it got dis, I disconnected it from. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's right here. It has a pin sticking out of it, but that goes back to the factory tuner, which I don't want. So, what that means is, all right, hang on a sec. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna split this video 
up into halves. I'm gonna disconnect the, I'm gonna pull the radio out and connect this cable up and direct connect it to here to see if I get a uh, radio reception because if I do, then I'm gonna keep going with the installation and hook up the wire. But if not, I'm gonna get online and start looking for that adapter I'm gonna need. So, uh, peace out guys. I'll get back to you in about five minutes or the next video. Check out the next video.